What's going on today, guys? Welcome to the Studios. I want to talk about Power Director today. Give you a little guide of 2022. 2023 Power Director, kind of what you expect when you get into Power Director. You download it, you start making videos, and how to go into it and do everything. Now, I do have other videos on like kind of beginner stuff and like here's how you make a video on Power Director, but this one is going to be updated because they've changed a lot of stuff in Power Director, added a lot of cool new features, and just kind of the way you operate it in general has changed. And I want you to feel confident in going in downloading PowerDirector and starting to edit today. I'm gonna to show you some of the cool new features. I'm gonna to touch on them. And if you guys wanna learn more about them, just leave comments below and I'll try to make videos on those individual features so that we get you guys a full guide on how to do it and you feel confident in using them. So let's get right into it right now. First things first, we open PowerDirector. That was easy. All right, then you wanna start a new project. Now, if you're in this screen, you can see some things about your old projects, like if it was done in vertical by the top left corner or horizontal, what date it was done on, how long it is, things like that. You can also go in and duplicate the project to just do stuff on another timeline and what have you. Um, you could preview it, rename it, all that fun stuff. So let's go into new project. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a vertical project and I'm not gonna rename it, but here's where you would wanna go ahead and name your project. Otherwise it names it after the date you are on right now. So let's go six, uh, nine by 16, which is our vertical. Now you get to just pick your different clips now before in power director you didn't really get to pick clips before you went in there then started adding clips to the timeline this feature is pretty cool because you actually get to um, go ahead and either preview your clip here or add it so i could preview it but i'm just going to go ahead and add this clip and i'm going to go ahead and add this one and i believe i wanted this one this one for me usually it's the last version of that clip that I recorded that is the best one. Most people I think when they record it's the same idea. So now at the bottom of your screen you see you have all the clips you've added. You can get rid of them if you'd like or you can keep them. If you keep them you hit the check mark next to it in the top right of that bottom piece there. So check marked it. Now if I wanted to from here start editing in landscape mode or horizontal mode you just rotate your phone and the whole screen rotates and everything changes to how power director used to be set up so this is pretty much exactly how power director always has been or at least has been for the last few years in horizontal the difference here is that they now has given us uh, portrait mode to be able to edit in which is amazing so i'm going to edit in portrait mode for this since it's a vertical video and i'm going to go ahead and rotate all these videos to do that you're going to have to click each video and then rotate it. So I'm going to click this first video, go over to find the rotate spot, which is almost all the way to the end. I'm rotating it. Now there's bars on the side, but I'm not worried about those right now. Power Director does have this issue with getting rid of bars once you've rotated a video if it doesn't fit the aspect. It's it's a flaw that I hope they address and, and I'll, uh, I'll message them about it and see if they can address it. Basically, when you go to crop in on it, it changes it back to how it was before you rotated it, which makes it next to impossible to get your crop right. So I'm just not gonna do it. What I'm gonna do instead to work my way around that is I'm going to wait until afterwards. I'm gonna finalize my video, then bring it back into a new project and go ahead and do the crop while it's already a vertical video. That'll make it a little bit easier for us to do the crop without having to mess with that finicky glitch it has. That's like literally one of the only things that I dislike about Power Director. Now, typically if you're just getting into this, this intro button, this is intro plus at the bottom left here, will say new, but because I've already clicked it, the new went away because it figures I already know what I'm doing there. You click into it and it gives you all these cool intros. You can do, there's favorites that you can save. If you sign into the, the online, there's ones that are featured for the season, all that stuff. Like Power Director's so in depth, it's absurd. If any of this stuff you guys want to see specifics about, you let me know. So you go add to video or customize. You can leave a comment to the creator of it, all that fun stuff. That's really cool. So I, I'm going to actually not add this. If you guys want to add intros and know more about the intros, let me know in the comments and we can do a full video on intros and how we customize them. Now for this, I'm going to show you how to how to cut, how to add transitions, and how to finalize your videos, and just kind of scroll through some of these other features. Now, in one of my previous videos, I did go through most of the Power Director features, and I'll link that video in a top card at the end here. If I'm going to cut now, 
your best bet is to do the split, but also to, since this cut is so precise, I wanna zoom in. So using your fingers to pinch out and get a zoom in is your best bet to get closer on your timeline and be able to do more precise cuts. That's a perfect spot to cut for me. You can either hit the split button, then delete the after parts. I'm selecting the part that I'm deleting and I'm gonna play it through real quick just to see if it works well. That works fine. Okay, let's go to the one, the next one, cause. Let's go to the next one. So at the end of this one, we do that, rotate, and we're gonna go ahead and do the drag one here. So I'm gonna drag it to where I want it to cut. And this one is pretty close, so we'll go ahead and drag this one too. Now we're gonna have to use the split on this next one. I got all my cuts in there and all that, so I wanna just show you transitions real quick. I wanna show you how to fade in and out of a video because it's a simple thing. I did do a full video on it. But if we want transition, we click this in between and we do our transitions that way. If I wanted a blur, I would do that, but I don't need transitions because I did my own in camera transitions. So I'm gonna hit none, but you can play with all these transitions. Look how many there are. I'm just scrolling through them real quick. So many transitions. This is not to even come close to mentioning all the other features that PowerDirector has. We're gonna exit that real quick. You can add photos. You can add color board stuff. Color board's how I'm going to go ahead and do my fade in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that here. So if I wanna fade in, I'm gonna go ahead and make everything smaller. If I wanna fade in, I bring my color board to the beginning here. I make it the same size as my screen or bigger, because it doesn't matter as long as it's at least bigger. And you're gonna do some keyframing. We can do a whole video on keyframing or whatever you'd like to see, guys. But if you go to opacity and um, you change, this is 100, so I'm gonna hit a keyframe there. That's the little uh, diamond on the right. And then I'm gonna go here and go to zero and it's gonna automatically keyframe that, which means it will fade in. That's the easiest way to do a fade in on PowerDirector. Black color board keyframing from 100 to zero. And then fading out is going to be the same way. I don't have to show you that. It's the same way, but the opposite. I did a whole video on that, but um, it was a very short video. You guys can check it out at the end. There's effects. You got blurs. You got highlights. You got all these fun uh, decor. These are moving elements, most of them. Those are awesome stickers. Some of the stickers are moving elements. Like, these are all pretty pretty awesome features you just add them in so let's say I added a birthday cake let's just say it's there yeah we're not doing that but let's pretend I wanted to it's there audio they have sound effects that you get to use like the paid for version of power director is well worth it because of all of the stuff that it offers you get all these sound effects you get all this music you get music throughout here you get music um, through PowerDirector's music. So you got Shutterstock, you got PowerDirector, Google Drive, they just added this. I don't have Google Drive music, so I'm actually gonna back out, cancel that. But Shutterstock, that's awesome that they've paired with Shutterstock. You can pick by genre, you can pick by moods. You can just go all, like you can search what you're looking for. My music, that stuff that's already in my phone. Guys, Power Director is so awesome. Like, there's so much you can do. Audio mixing. This just tells you which um, layer in your timeline you're doing what. One thing Power Director is different from a computer editing software is that as you layer down, those layers go on top of the layer above it. So instead of layering up and going on top of the layers above it, it's the opposite. You're going down. I don't know if it's just easier to operate that way. Your top one's always your main timeline, and you're always seeing it. Probably, but it it works great for what we're doing. And then if we want to go ahead and finalize this without adding any audio, which is what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna go finalize. You pick what you want to finalize it with. Let's might as well go Ultra HD, produce, and it produces it. Real quick, I'm gonna show you me bringing it back in. 
and and fixing the the bars on the side. So after it's finalized, you have your option to preview it by just hitting play. Um, you can share the video, add an intro to your video, and all that fun stuff. Again, guys, any of these extra features, if you want to hear about them, please leave comments and I'll touch on them. Once I exit it by saying I'm done, it always asks you to rate it. I'm going to say not now. Um, and then you do still have your options to go ahead and share here if you'd like, like to. Um, I'm not going to. Um, I always just do produce, put it in my phone, and then I go and share it to other stuff later. I'm going to go out to home because I want to show you guys how to get rid of those bars. We're going to go new project, 16 by 9. I'm going to pick what I just produced and put it in there. And then we're going to go into it. And we're going to crop now that I'm in here. We're going to just crop the whole thing. And I'm just going to crop it up till I feel comfortable with it. Let's play it real quick. So now that I've eliminated the bars, which I still see it on one side, once I eliminated the bars, I can just go ahead and finalize it again, and then I have my fixed video. That's just a quick fix. I'm going to talk to PowerDirector and see if they can't work that bug out. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this video and everything, they have worked that bug out and you don't have that same problem that I just had. So that's PowerDirector in a nutshell for 2022 going into 2023 here. I will do a video showing you more about how to customize those intros and do some more with that. And guys, you can even make your own intros and maybe we'll play with one of those as well. Please let me know in the comments if you'd want to see other stuff in PowerDirector. Now, I showed you how to use the black color board to do a fade in and fade out, which I do have a video on that. But check out this other video that you use the color board to make cinnabars on your video like this. Yeah, so you can add Cinnabars really easily in PowerDirector and using the color board. So check that out. And if this video helped you guys out, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to see more about budget videography and more PowerDirector stuff. Until next time, guys, go ahead and check out the rest of my current PowerDirector playlist right there. And I'm going to go shoot something else. I'm going to throw some edits on PowerDirector and I'll get another video out there for you guys next week. Peace out. See you later with that other video. Bye, guys.